So Neil Patrick Harris has made a board game all by himself, and it is called Box One. The game is a mystery a trivia puzzle game, and it comes in this very fancy box that you see here before you. Uh, basically what you're going to be doing is drawing cards and utilizing those cards to answer trivia, and also to solve mysteries and puzzles along the way. The game generally takes, ooh, I don't know, a couple days to play, which I'll explain later, but uh, you're going to be going through this mystery puzzle, not only the box itself, but also some other different unique areas and locations you might need to try and solve or utilize in order to solve the mystery that is inside. This is a game that plays for ages, I believe, 13 and up, and you do need to have an internet connection in order to play the game. So let's go ahead and see what this is exactly, because it is interesting, it's something I haven't seen before. I didn't know he made this, but it was made last year apparently. And uh, I'll kind of give you the uh, setup for the game, what it comes with, how you play it, but because it is a mystery, a trivia style game, I I won't be giving a whole lot away and may I mainly be talking about what I think of the game. So upon opening box one, you're going to notice that you're going to be getting a singular page rule book, which kind of details what you're going to be doing, what you kind of get in the game. So let's talk about what you do get in the game. Well, you have a handy dandy pen here that you can utilize to write notes on, and what better to write notes on than notepads. And so you're going to be getting a thick piece of notepad that you'll be utilizing for any time you'll need to answer certain trivia questions. You're also going to be getting this index card. This index card is going to be uh, asking you to do something very unusual with it, and you'll place it in this very specific unusual place. And then lastly, but not least, you're going to get a whole stack worth of challenge cards. All these guys here are challenge cards that you'll be using to answer questions. Uh, first of all, Neil Patrick Harris has a blank. Uh, continue by using the clues in the cards below. And so this is one of the last cards, right? And you're going to need to solve the clues from the cards in order to get the answers that you need. And uh, that's mainly what comes in the game. How to start the game? It's also very simple. You'll open the box of challenge cards, start with number one, and proceed all the way down until you get to the last one. And after that, proceed by solving the mystery and trying to find the answer to the mysterious box one game that Neil Patrick Harris has made. Now I know this is unlike most of the videos I make, because usually I detail out everything that's in the game, how you you play and then what you can do in the game and your secret mechanics and all that uh, and they're usually like 15 to 20 minute long videos but this one here is mainly just going to be a review because I don't want to spoil anything for you. The first thing I can say about this game is that it is more than meets the I. And in this game, not only will we be getting specific trivia cards, but you'll be utilizing those cards in unique ways. Also, the box itself and all the components also are more than meet the eye. And you'll be utilizing these to solve riddles and puzzles. And in fact, this game is more than a trivia game. I lied. It's actually more of an escape room puzzle game in which you're going to delve into a story that Neil Patrick Harris all by himself and no one else has concocted for you. And as you do that, you're going to learn new things about the game, the history of the game, how it was created, and what you need to do in order to solve the mystery that lies deep inside. Uh, when you first open this box, this is by the way the review portion, I have nothing else to say about how to play the game, <laughs> there's not a whole lot. You're going to be getting a notepad, a pen, a uh, thing of cards, and then a singular envelope full that has one card in it. Uh, I was very underwhelmed to begin with. Uh, in fact, the components in the game are not that many, to say the least. You're just getting a bunch of cards basically in some notepad and a pen. But as you delve into the game and start uncovering the secrets that lie within box one and the story that goes with it, the, the game becomes a little bit more than you would actually think. When at first I considered this game to be kind of like a basic Trivial Pursuit trivia game with less components, I was a little bit disappointed. But I decided to go ahead and give it a try. After going through the first portion of the cards, which was actually really quick, I'm like, these trivia questions are easy. There's not a lot to them. Kind of pointless. Why is this even a game? Well, you will start to find out as you proceed through the game. Now, of course, this is a singular player game, but if you're anything like me and you're not very good at board games, I highly, highly suggest you have somebody help you. You can have them start looking through clues and portions of the game to solve certain puzzles. There's a lot of secret things that you might not realize that is going to happen throughout this game as you go through it, and compartments that you may need to open, cards that may be more than just written text on them, and uh, cards that may turn into keys, or keys that may be 
used as cards, or certain punch-outs that seem to have almost nothing to do with the game suddenly become usable. And important, that por portion pushes towards the game's mechanics. The storyline in, in and of itself is really cool as well. You'll start diving into the style and uh, unique twists that the game has to offer. It's not only just a comedy, but it's also kind of a mystery and a escape room kind of puzzle all put into one. Now, as you can see, I'm trying to like give you guys hints without giving anything away because really this is an experience that you'll play one time and then afterwards you can pass it along to a friend. And that is actually what's really nice about the game. You can put it all back together and then pass it on to somebody else and they can experience the game of box one. Well, originally when I was thinking, I'm like, okay, so you had an, an, an actor who's now kind of bored with uh, that. Maybe he's going into, I don't know, board games. He's, I've also seen him on YouTube and a bunch of other areas like 3D miniature modeling or like he made like this portrait with a 3D uh, printer uh, and these kind of things. And like maybe he's just kind of dabbling in things. And that, that might be true. He's finding some new hobbies and whatnot. But I was kind of like, yeah, he just kind of put out something from the 80s that basically anybody can play. And I was I was dead wrong. There's, there's a lot more to this game. Uh, that being said, is Box One a valuable purchase? And the answer is yes and no. Yes, as in if you don't mind buying a game that is going to function as an escape room that you can play once and, of course, pass on, unlike the exit games from the Thames and Cosmos series, and you like a twist with a story, then this is going to be a cool game. However, on the opposite end, uh, this game is what it is as far as components go. There's not a whole lot that is ventured into this box, but there is a lot of components to the game. And like I said, you will require an internet connection in order to use the game, which I think is a vi viable and important thing to note. Otherwise, you literally cannot play this game, which I really, really wish they would have explained somewhere before getting into this, because what if I'm playing at a lake house in a cabin with my friends and we are kind of out of luck with that? Now, normally, internet's not a hard thing to come by and you can use your phone if necessary, but it's definitely one of those things I would suggest using a PC for, and there's various reasons why. The component quality is nice. Everything you've given is not only usable, but also has a twist to it, and there's some secrets and interesting, like, things that can happen in the game that you're probably not going to see in most other escape rooms. Uh, one of the more fancy versions of an escape room that I have seen, one that's also nice, is the fact that the components are viable, uh, handcraft, not handcrafted, uh, high quality, and provide a kind of interesting little unique twist to most modern puzzle games that I have played. Uh, that, that being said, it's kind of up to you. Do I like this game? Yes, I really enjoy this game. And it might be because por partially I was thinking it was a nothing game and then it became an actual game. Uh, partially because I thought there was no components and then I realized where all of the theme and story and uh, pieces actually lie. And also I was kind of like maybe there was no thought put into this and all of a sudden I realized that there actually was thought. There was actually some unique twists to the game that presented a unique experience that I would probably want to play again in hopefully maybe a box two where you have two players playing an escape room game and if that's the case I might not purchase it for myself but I would definitely buy it for somebody else to see how they would like to experience it. I am a fan of escape room games usually I like them to be a little bit more advanced and um, have a little bit more length to them. Uh, this still does have more than I originally anticipated it to have but I could have liked to see more and also of course more actual physical components inside the box here. If you do not like escape room games or puzzles or they trip you up, then you probably will not like this style of a game. And if you don't want to play a game that's single player, but uh, you know, also it does kind of have like a, you can play with as many people as you kind of want type of thing. But still, if you don't like that style of a game, then this is also not going to be for you. But for those of you puzzle people who are interested in something that's unique to escape room type of experience, I strongly suggest you take a look at the game Box One by Neil Patrick Harris and Neil Patrick Harris alone. Thank you guys for watching another Unfiltered Gamer board game review for the game Box One by Neil Patrick Harris. Uh, if you're interested in picking up the game, there's a link down below in the description where you can go ahead and pick this game up. It's a year old and I'm still shocked that I had never heard of this game before uh, because it was something that I am pleasantly surprised and, and I am genu genuinely happy that I played and went and actually experienced it instead of just opening it up. I got it as a 
gift my wife did and we kind of like messed with it at first and we're like eh but we decided to go all the way through and uh we were happy that we did do so and uh i'm excited to see if they do make another copy of this and if they include more and introduce even more unique concepts to the game because it did present some unique modern twists to an escape room slash puzzle slash trivia game experience and that was very nice if you guys are interested there's a website on filtergame.com where we present more reviews of videos and blog posts that you can go ahead and take a look at we do videos almost every single day you can check our live stream every Sunday at 6 30 p.m. PSD where we play games just like this one but not exactly this one because we didn't want to give any spoilers away and after understanding what it was like we wanted to give you a video that kind of detailed how it functioned and what it was without actually telling you what it was and how it functioned which I don't know how this video is gonna go but <laughs> regardless it's something that is definitely going to be an interesting experience for you and if not is a strong possibility for a gift for those people who have never played in the escape room who know who Neil Patrick Harris is and kind of that push towards it, but it's not a cash grab. This is not just a game that was put out with his name on it with no thought, and uh, that made me so happy to see that he put some time and effort and thought into designing a game that is something that people are going to be able to give and pass on and play again, and uh, genuinely a fun experience. That being said, thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I look forward to playing Box 2 w without you, probably with my wife if it's a two-player game, next time.